Hey babes and bros, in this video I caught this northern pike through the ice and you'll see how I cook it in the ground oven shanty. So stay tuned. Felt it. It's snagged around some branches. Something big. Get back to you guys. There's something big under there. On the line. Probably Where's it going? My job does Okay guys. Alright guys. I had to chop a trail. All the way over here. And uh, this is why it was, got this pike. This is why. It was tangled around that piece of wood. There's trees down there. Got something to eat. Fish, fish in the winter time. Well, actually, it's not supposed to be winter yet. Line all tangled up. All right, guys, we'll be cooking that in the ground oven shanty. All right, look how beautiful it is. Pericerium rod.
okay, George. What about the fire? It'll it'll burn this beam here. It'll uh, it'll catch on fire. Well, that's why I got this heat shield to block it. It, it will block a lot of heat. And it, you can see I don't even really need it. It's not even. Uh, I'm holding my hand right here. But I just did that for an extra precaution in case I want to cook a, a huge hunk of meat or something and I have to have a raging fire, maybe. Alright. That should be plenty enough wood to cook that fish. Fish doesn't take very long. It doesn't need a whole lot of heat, you know. So yeah guys, what I like to do is, if possible, if I have foil, keep the skin on the fish, because uh, that's where most of the vitamins are, and it's tasty. Alright guys, while the fire's gone, let's uh, prepare this fish. First thing I'm going to do is... Add some olive oil to my uh, breadcrumbs I made, homemade. And I got a little bit of salt. A little bit of turmeric. A lot of turmeric. Kind of stir that around a little bit. So I got peppers in there and some onions. And I'll add a bit of uh, oregano. I put it really close, I don't want it to blow away. So I'm going to try to stuff that fish with this. Always learning as I go. I'm gonna lay the foil down inside. Here. Put the fish on top like that. I think is the best idea, huh? Don't you think? Instead of uh, that way, I don't have to move the fish around so much. stuffing fall out of it. So I'll just uh, kinda, kinda hollow that for sure. Doesn't matter if it's all over the place, that's fine. I'll have to stand up for this. There you go. Stuffing it way right inside. I like to stuff it if I can. 
Get all the flavor inside there. Baking and the fish. You can see I got some of the membrane here, but that's this stuff isn't really going to hurt you. It's more of the lower intestine. That's where all the uh, microbes are. The bad stuff. Yeah, so. Oh. These teeth are like needles. I should stuff its uh, mouth a little bit. If I, can. Ow. I don't know if I can. <laughs> Cram it down there. Those needle. Ow! Ah. Those teeth are all pointing backwards. You stick your finger in there and you can't pull it out. Ouch. Cramming it down its esophagus. Stuff this baby. Because then that flavor will um, kind of melt out into the uh, all over in its head. And there's a lot of, uh, in these pike, they have a lot of uh, flesh in the head for their jaw muscles, you know, their jaw muscles have a lot of, they're pretty big and they taste pretty good. That's why I left the head on. Even the gills kind of, any part that you can, that's edible, really, um, you know, I'll eat eyeballs or everything. best I can. That was close. I'll have to use another layer of foil. All right, let me get back to you. I can sit by the fire and warm up. It's pretty nice. Okay guys, what I'm also going to have here with my fish is a big heap and help and slice of my homemade organic apple pie you've seen me make in a previous video. And I'm putting it in the foil because hot apple pie is better than cold apple pie. So I'll just uh, keep that up after I get my fish done. Just 
throw that on the coals for a little bit. Warm it up later. Just gonna drop that on the coals and uh, like that, and then I'll just turn it over. Alright guys, I think it's done. Been in there quite a while. There it is. Bring it over to the picnic table. And get the pie. Alright. a thinner foil this time. That's all I have. But, uh, ooh. I'll just, uh, hold this. Looks really good. Mighty good here. It's nice and Gotta get a better look at that, guys. It's nice, nice and hot. See that steaming. It's nice and warm. So there you go. You got a delicious meal. And it's special because it came straight from the wild. That's what we are here. We're special. If you watch this channel, you're a special person. There's the there it is. Try to get her over here for you. Better. should get a better view of this. It's not doing you justice over there. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Oh, man. So, yeah, guys. Caught this wild right out of the lake. <clears throat> really fantastic. This is a first class meal. Like I said, hmm. that's because we're special. If you subscribe to my channel, you're a special person. Alright guys, <laughs> I want to chow down. <laughs> I don't want to tease you anymore. So uh, yeah, you can see that ground oven. 
be working good all winter and uh, I'll be in here all winter doing all kinds of things making meals like this with wild game and working on projects and um, having a whole lot of fun so uh, glad you watched and hope you come back for more see you next time next week yeah baby